Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be doing a DIY partial quick weave. In this video, I will be using hair from divatress.com. I'll be using their 12A unprocessed 100% virgin human hair in the color natural black in 14 inches. I will leave the link below and the description of the hair below in case you're interested. So I'm going in starting um, by trimming my hair. I just decided to show you guys how I trim my hair and take off some hair uh, off of the sides and the back. So everything that I do to one to one side, I do to the other side. And I'm also um, taking off a little bit at the top, at the back at the top. But my overall goal with my hair right now is to keep the length at the top. But who knows, I might end up changing my mind and just getting, a, getting my hair cut shorter overall. But yeah. So I'm just using scissors and giving my hair a trim. So after I use the scissors to trim the sides, I'm going to go in with a clipper, with clippers. I'm going to go in with clippers to take down more of the sides. To get a closer shave and to kind of line it up, I take off the guard so that it gives me so that it gives me a sharper cut. Keep in mind, I don't know what I'm doing exactly. Um, so if you are a stylist, you might be uh, you might be cringing just watching this, but I'm just doing the best I can with what I have right now. So now that my trim is finished, I am going to relax my hair. I'm going, I am using the scalp protector by ORS to base the front of my head, the sides beside my ear and the back of my neck. I'm using the organic root stimulator relaxer in normal strength. So I'm just putting it only on the sides and the back. To wrap my hair today, I'm using the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foam Mousse. I think that's what it's called. I'll put all the, the I'll put all of the products that I used today in the description box below. Okay, so this is my first time using the Nairobi Mousse. And I must say that I really like it. I might have to transition from the cream of nature to the Nairobi Mousse. So this is my first time my absolute first time using it and I thought I would try something different 
because it was receiving great reviews online. So my mold is pretty basic. I'm just combing the sides straight down and I'm using some wrap strips to tie my hair down, of course, as usual. I'm blow drying the top of my hair because I need to braid it down and add the Grow Protect solution over it. So I'm just gonna blow dry it dry. What I'm doing right now is parting out my leave out and I'm going to braid my leave out just to get it out the way. Now that my leave out is braided, I am braiding the rest of my hair. Um, I'm doing, it looks like there isn't really a pattern to this. I'm just trying to gather up as much hair as I can to try to make it lay as flat as possible. What I could have done was um, molded my hair down with gel first, let it dry and then put the GPS on top of it but I wasn't thinking, so now I am resorting to this. So I'm just French braiding it. Then I'm gonna gather everything together and tuck in the ends, and then um, put the GPS, the Grow Protect Solution, on top of my hair, which is where I will be gluing the weave. Okay guys, so my mold is dry. My leave out is out. And of course I put on some makeup. So before I start, I just wanna let you guys know that the hair I'm going to be using today is from divatress.com. So this hair was sent to me by them. It's 100% virgin human hair, um, 12A unprocessed, straight in 14 inches okay so I'll be using uh, I got two bundles from them so it looks like this okay so I will leave the direct link in the description below um, if you would like to purchase the hair okay so my first impression of the bundle when I received it was was a bit was very positive so the bundle 
very silky, very thick, very smooth. I was even contemplating whether I should use um, use the hair to do this style because it's gonna require me to cut the wefts. So I'm like, I don't think I wanna cut these. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna like this. It's very, you can tell it's really good quality hair. It's very thick. Okay, so I'm gonna be um, gluing it to the top of my hair, as you guys know. And I'll let you guys know what I think about it after maybe a couple, maybe a few days. And how it, I'll let you guys know how it curls, I'll let you guys know how it straightens, and how long it lasts, and whether I can reuse it, because this looks really good. And I'm actually, like I said, I'm contemplating whether I should, um, use it to do this style because just looking at the hair and the quality i don't think i want to cut the webs but i'm gonna do it anyway and guys my hair might be blowing a little bit because my fan is on it's way too hot in here it's it's too hot i did not leave the house this this long weekend as you guys as some of you guys may know it was canada day long weekend um the past weekend i didn't leave the house not even to feel the sun because it was too hot and as you guys know your girl is pregnant and the heat and pregnancy they they just don't mesh okay so I stayed inside it's too hot I got the fan blowing my hair is gonna be all waving and stuff but just bear with me okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start the process let's do this so I start off by measuring the first track um, against my hair. Then I rip the track apart as usual, add some glue, and I just go ahead right on in. This time around, I'm using a blow dryer to blow to dry the um, glue faster. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I'm doing the same steps until I get to the top of my head. I'm putting it on a, a little bit of a slant because I do want it to fall more on my on the left side of my face. So I'm measuring, ripping the track, gluing and blow drying it until I get to the very top. Okay, so I have laid all my tracks, so all my tracks are laid. So the next thing I'm gonna do is blend my leave out with the rest of the weave, and then do a little bit of a cut, not too much, I want it to be um, longer than, than how I normally have it. So I'm gonna do my leave out now. So for my leave out, I'm going to be using Marcel wax, or you can use any wax, beeswax. And I'm going to be using a hot comb, electrical hot comb.
Okay guys, I am so determined to fix this leave out because it's just not acting right. Like it's sticking up. So, so far I tried using the wax with the, the wax with the hot comb, that was a fail. And then I started using the, the holding spray. That kind of helped, but as soon as I put the heat on it, it went right back up. So I used the holding spray and brushed it down. Right, and it started staying down. The back part was acting up, so I took, I think I had too much leave out. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I think I had too much leave out. So what I did was just combed the majority of it down here. So what I'm going to do is, um, once I'm almost done, I'm just gonna take some foam wrap and kind of mold it down, not too much. Take some foam wrap and then tie it down so it'll hold into place. But it's kind of, it's all right now. So it looks like this. So for cutting, I'm just going to take some off the ear. Not too much, but just a little bit. Right here, just to shape it a bit. So. And of course, I need to kind of style the sides. So I'm gonna be using my half inch flat iron. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the final look. I know I mentioned that I wasn't really loving it, but the problem, the solution to my problem was fixed by adding some Nairobi mousse. I was struggling, I was struggling, I was struggling with my leave out. So I added the mousse like you saw and I blow dried it. So that helped. So this is the side here. I added some edge control at the side to kind of um, slick it down, give it some shine. And I also um, used the olive oil um, nourishing sheen spray that I always use. So this is the side, like I said. Uh, this is the other side. And this is the back. So thank you again, Diva Tress. Um, DivaTress.com is where I got these bundles. Um, they were sent to me from them. Uh, if you want to know where you can buy um, these bundles, if you would like, the description is. Um, I'll leave the description in the com in the. I'll leave the details in the description box below, and I'll also leave all the products that I used today um, to achieve the style. So I'm actually really loving it. It's kind of cool. All right, all right, all right. Next time around, I think I'm, I think I'm going to try to, instead of using the flyer, use the, using a curling wand to see what that produces. So I think this is cute. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I should stop doing that. I think this is cute. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, divatress.com, uh, for providing me with the hair. Um, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I think I want to try something different like some color um, So just stay tuned subscribe if you want to see more videos and don't forget to comment I'll try to answer all your questions if I have the answer if I can um, Just say hey, you know, I like, you know, reading the comments being engaged with you guys 
and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up yeah 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 thank you bye Ha <laughs> ha